Reba Mavadat joins me now in the studio. She's a senior journalist at Euronews. Good to have you with us. Um, so US President Donald Trump has said that he's made a decision about the nuclear deal. We, we don't know yet what that decision is. But what would be the worst case scenario for Tehran? For the worst case scenario for Tehran would be if America pulls out of the deal for various reasons. Because, you see, this deal has taken so long, more than 12 years to be made, and it surpassed so many administrations, so many leaders. And during which time Iran's been in dire strait economically and in isolation politically. Now Iran has opened its doors to the, to the world, particularly economically, and it's, it's signed, so it's just the beginning of signing huge deals with the world, with Europe, uh, with the rest of the world, barring America. And it's enjoying its newly found uh, stance in the world. So what would Iran do if Donald Trump turns around and says he's not going to be part of this deal anymore? I think it's going to bank more on the support of Europe. Europe is well behind Iran for various reasons, again, because it was uh, uh, with uh, Europe's initiative that all these talks uh, uh, started. They, they tried very hard, and Europe is reaping the benefits of all those uh, efforts by uh, making lucrative, signing lucrative contracts with Iran. So Iran is going to uh, try to lean more on Europe at the cost of America. And Federica Mogherini has come out and said, you can't walk away from this deal because it's actually a UN Security Council resolution. She's very right in that. You know, this is not Americans, uh, America's uh, deal at all. America is only part of it. And America is within its rights, legal rights, to pull out and, and leave. But it is an international uh, uh, agreement uh, supported by the Security Council. So. America unilaterally can't cancel it. Uh, and, and critics are, are making the point that, you know, if we get rid of this nuclear deal, then what hope is there for getting other rogue regimes like North Korea interested in any kind of negotiation uh, with Western powers? Well, North Korea is a different story. I mean, and Iran is unique in this uh, situation, in this position. Uh, the, what I see is not, I mean, the problem with North Korea will, will go on. Uh, whether there's a deal with Iran or not. Uh, what worries me is the situation, the position of Iran vis-a-vis -vis its nuclear activities that Iran will feel has to go on with it, whether it likes it or not, because, you know, it's got to save face, it's got to react. And how do you react? You say, OK, you don't want me, I'll go ahead with it. Really good points there. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Fariba Mavadat.